I am Rasa Munai, anchoring for Reggae to Reggae Radio and TV. We are at the IT, INTHM, which is an institute, Canon Institute for Household Management and the Works, yes. Uh, with me is Mr. Glaston Rose. Rose. And we are in the middle of a seminar that is a bamboo project. To call it the Peckham Bamboo Project, yes. Um, in many ways, Mr. Rose is one of the pioneers of this project, yes. He will tell us how the project got started and what's his main thrust in the project, Mr. Rose. Yes, this Bamboo Products Industry Project is a project of the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce. It is housed at the Bureau of Standards Jamaica and uh, it started in 2012 January when Jamaica became the 38th member of the International Network for Bamboo and Rattan that I refer to as INBAR. Now INBAR is an intergovernmental organization and uh, it represents uh, scientists and engineers and technicians who through the member countries work with bamboo and rattan. Bamboo and rattan are like um, growing grasses. Uh, especially bamboo, it flourishes in tropical zones and in other climates. But in terms of the tropical area, it really flourishes in two forms. You have what we call monopodial bamboo and sympodial bamboo. The monopodial bamboo have a root system that grows underground for miles and uh, springs up like tr trees. And then you have the sympodial bamboo that grows in clumps, like the one we have in Jamaica. Now, for years we have had this bamboo and we have done just small projects with it. You know, some craft for tourists, baskets, um, maybe some rafting, some raft on the Rio Grande and so on. But over the last uh, 20 years or so, China has been popularizing many other types of bamboo products, such as tiles and floors, um, using bamboo in constructing housing. In other inbar countries, for example, like Colombia, we have learned how to replace the steel in concrete houses with bamboo. So instead of using steel, you use a strong material bamboo that is not as expensive as steel but just as good as we are showing now in our project uh, in the project we have found four main value chains that we're concentrating on in jamaica the first one is bamboo charcoal bamboo charcoal it's uh, a charcoal which uh, is a good substitute for tree charcoal uh, when you cut down trees to make charcoal it is not so good because what you have done is cut down a tree that takes 20 years, 40 years to grow. And to replace it going to be another 20, 40 years. Now bamboo regrows and matures in three years. In the first year it shoots to its maximum height, height and then it uh, matures. And when it matures, uh, after three years, it gets older and then it dies. So if you don't use it, it returns the carbon dioxide, dioxide that it took from the atmosphere back to the atmosphere if you don't use it. But if you use it and put it into products, for example, bamboo charcoal, what you have done is trap that carbon dioxide. Because even when you use the bamboo charcoal to cook, for example, uh, it releases back some but not all of the carbon dioxide. There's residual ashes that is good for the soil. And therefore, Bamboo is renewable. It does release more carbon dioxide than it takes from the atmosphere. And therefore, it is seen as a green product, gr renewable product. It is not the same as fossil coal that you take out of the earth and release the carbon dioxide as positive emission. It is different. It takes in and it is taken in carbon dioxide wherever it grows. And when you make a piece of floor with it, or you make a piece of furniture with it, it traps that carbon dioxide for, for many years. And therefore, bamboo charcoal is different from the dirty coal you read about. 
this one helps the environment, whereas the dirty coal pollutes the environment. Now, charcoal itself can be used in many other products. It is used in medicines where it relieves abdominal problems. It is the antidote for many poisons. The bamboo charcoal can also be used in water filters to purify water. It can be used in ear filters to purify the ear. The bamboo charcoal can be used in art and craft. There are a lot of craft work that can be done using bam bamboo charcoal. You can make bamboo charcoal briquettes, which is a nice looking form of the charcoal that has a great demand in upscale markets. Uh, it can be used also as a fertilizer material in that it amel ameliorate, ameliorates the soil. It improves the soil. And so if you use compost with the what we call it biochar from the bamboo then you get a soil that is rich for plants it it traps the the the, the, the harmless bacteria the part the bacteria that help plants and it also um, traps the water from running off on the surface it, it, it penetrates the soil better when you have the, the biochar from the bamboo charcoal and the compost mixed in with your fertilizer so you use less fertilizer then you have the, the value chain that is used in uh, consumables that we eat for example um, bamboo shoots is a vegetable edible bamboo shoots and uh, the international trade now wants 270 million US dollars per year and that's growing it is not saturated and uh, the edible bamboo shoots can be put in other products. Uh, in our project so far, we have a young man that has started a bamboo tomato ketchup where he uses the edible shoots with the tomato and makes a nice tasting tomato ketchup that adds, the, the shoots add protein and potassium, calcium, other, other nutrients. And so it now become a healthy product instead of just a tomato ketchup for flavor, you know, and uh, it, 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 up to recently, I know you could get it at the airport and at Devon House, I heard they ran out. So I hope he replenishes, you know, the, the product. Um, there are many other products along the value chain. Bamboo makes very good paper. The pulp and paper industry is big, and therefore substituting bamboo for trees is good for the environment. Then you have bamboo textile. By a natural physical process, you can extract the, the, the fiber and convert it into textile and cloth and clothes, clothing. Over the last three years, the Chinese have done very well with this. And uh, they can't get enough bamboo to do this. Uh, for a small country like ours, though, we can get into niche markets. Because we don't try to match the Chinese in a very large. We do the thing and do it in our way, just like our pimento and our turmeric and our ginger. There are, there are niche markets that want Jamaican made. And that is what the project is focusing on. Because right now, you know, we have an order for 12 million pounds of organic bamboo charcoal. Jamaica is the first country that exported organic bamboo charcoal in April this year, right? certified by the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture. And we are the first and only country so far. And there's a big market that wants 12 million pounds per year. And they're looking to Jamaica to supply that. The local market for bamboo charcoal is also growing and ballooning. We now have an order for one ton per week. Right. So communities like Peckham, where Peckham is leading this process, can now get their young people together to work with bamboo to relieve the unemployment situation and to help the community to generate money so that the people don't have to look to urban areas now to drift to. So we know it took a good time because we were, at, we're planning this for about two years now. But here we are where we have 15 trainers being trained here and when they return we know that the bamboo charcoal kiln that was bought by the, the Chinese ambassador for Peckham is in place 
So when they get back now, they could, should be able to start the production and the people who want it in the marketing stream, they are anxiously waiting. So it is not one of the things where you have an idea and a pro product, but you don't have markets. Where are the markets waiting? They're even getting impatient, right? And so we can have a ready situation where we can supply that particular value chain. The other value chains, Pecam gonna be getting into the matter of pre-processing bamboo, which they um, then take the bamboo and make sure that the insect in there don't affect the product. They will learn that method this week how to actually get rid of the insect and then their products now instead of having a four year shelf life lifespan will now have a 40 year lifespan because of the training they're gonna get this week and it's things like that we are doing right for the bamboo project what a wealth of information no wonder you were referred to as a bamboo man <laughs> by, by the minister i think it yeah. was yes yeah? um so many areas but tell me what what is your day-to-day hands-on approach with this bamboo industry all right day-to-day -day hands on what i am doing now is standards development on a day-to-day -day basis because the bureau of standards was asked by the ministry to make sure that this new industry we're developing is quality high quality and therefore it has to be standards led so on a day-to-day -day basis now we're writing standards we we just recently completed a standards for edible bamboo shoes a jamaican standards we did one for charcoal. Uh, we did one for ear purifiers, right? So on a daily basis, we're trying to develop the product standards so that uh, the people who want to manufacture these can do it in a consistent way and a quality way to give you consistency. So anything is made in Peckham as well as made in Glengoff or made in some community in Hanover, you get the same standard same quality so that the Jamaica brand is not um, brought down and denigrated because every, when everybody uses the standard you get a similar product coming from everybody that looks like it coming from the same place right so that is what I am doing daily now there's some other standards I'm working on daily workplace standards where we team up with Heart NC Tibet training national training agency and we're doing uh, what we call occupation standards now. We were right in, in standards for how people work in the industry. And these going into what we call national vocational uh, plans, qualification plans that goes into the curriculum and will be used as of next year in heart institutions to train students in bamboo technology. So you're going to have the training standards coming out, you're going to have the product standards coming out, and those are the things I'm concentrating on daily. And then the work in terms of the, the work in the projects, we have to organize groups now. So we are also working based on a vision of the Minister of State, Minister, the, Minister Sharon Fox Abrams. And Sharon Fox Abrams, she has a vision for zoning. And so in the West, you have a zone being formed with Hanover, St. James, St. Elizabeth, uh, uh, Alephort Ward, and, and Westmoreland. And that zone is right now being formed into a, co a cooperative where they're going to acquire a factory to process things to the standards that we're developing. And over in the East, you have Portland, St. Mary, St. Thomas, and some parts of rural St. Andrew in another zone. And then the communities like Peckham, who are in the PIOJ's community renewal program, are grouped again in another zone, working with each other. So we have some urban communities and some rural communities working together because the rural communities supply the raw material with, with the pre-process, and the urban community receive those raw materials and convert them into finished products. So it's this type of focus we're having on a daily basis to really get things organized. You know, one thing we want to make sure, you know, is that nobody will ever think about going and cutting down Holland Bamboo. We will make sure that throughout the country, we, are, we have 67,000 hectares of bamboo growing, that people know the value of that. They don't have to look for Holland Bamboo. And guess what? There's another part of the project that going to develop Holland Bamboo, where we're going to put in, um, a, 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 a sort of bamboo uh, market type thing 
in adjoining lands, working with TP Deco and the St. Elizabeth Parish Council and so on, replant the avenue, you know, while it still has what it has there, you put in new bamboo so that you get a, a fresh stop coming up and then doing other types of plants in the area. There's a whole a green paper, a, 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 a blue, I should say blue paper on that you know in terms of a concept plan that has been developed to develop that whole area around the bamboo industry the UWI is proposed to also have a, a center there a little research center that is looking at tissue culturing bamboo and looking at various species of bamboo that NEPA will be applied with the application will be done to NEPA to allow this for various species uh, even, I mean, tomorrow we have a meeting with Nepal to look at some of this. So, those are some of the things we're doing on a So, a the daily average basis. person who is looking on yeah. and want to become involved, how they, do they understand? All right. The way they do that now is through coming to some of our meetings. Mm -hmm. That's what they would have to do, the average person. The meeting, the project committee meets every last Wednesday of every month. Uh, tomorrow is one. Right, tomorrow the last Wednesday at the Bureau of Standard at 10 o'clock. And on a, on a walking basis, we welcome you. It, it's open to the public. On another day to day basis, uh, if you can get organized as an individual into community groups, that is the way I suggest. Because to do it individually might be a bit, a bit difficult. So you get groups of people together, right, and form community groups. And then the representative can call us at the Bureau of Standards. Also, we have just started a Bamboo Industry Association that they can also contact. And the Bamboo Industry Association will, will guide the little man into how he can use the bamboo towards um, establishing some business. So there is the association to help. There is a committee that I chair that you can come in and talk to. And then when you get your ideas between the association and all the committee, we will help you develop the ideas. Because already we have people working on ideas to develop bamboo um, shampoo. A young man has just come up, work with the Scientific Research Council based on our recommendation and has developed a bamboo shampoo and a bamboo hair conditioner. Uh, we, did, we think this product went very well because it's high in silica. The bamboo is high in silica, so it helps straighten the, the, the ear and, and help the, the life of the ear. And uh, the silica works with the calcium in the body, you know, very well. And the bam bamboo is very good for this. Then you have other uh, uh, products that the byproduct of the charcoal process gives you. The bamboo vinegar goes into lotions that the Chinese claim have health properties, right? We are to prove that, but their scientists claim that the vinegar itself put into some of these products enhance the body, help the body, you know, anti-aging, anti-cancer, um, the shoots have anti-diabetic anti properties, all these type of things. And so what people need to do now is to be innovating. It, they, whatever the mind can conceive now, right you can achieve and therefore that is the whole thing about the the little man just begin to think innovate come to us with the idea we help you develop the idea right and the other thing is financing we're trying to get the banks now to look at the industry in a positive way as our chairman at the bureau of standards said last about two weeks ago that the financial institution shouldn't have any worry now because this is an organized industry and therefore they should be willing to fund projects. Once we can get them to open up their minds to funding these projects, we're going to get the employment that we we're really looking for for a long time in Jamaica. All right? Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Claston Rose. Yes. yes. For yes. such pertinent information, yes. You have certainly whetted my appetite, you know, and okay. I'll be taking closer step for sure, yes? Okay. Thanks again on behalf right. of Reggae Reggae TV. Uh, thank you very much, the Reggae Reggae, to have.